Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and I'm just curious if anybody happens to know where my sales are. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. It means I go to garage sales and estate sales. I go to thrift stores. I try to find things there that I think I can buy and then sell online for a profit. Mostly I'm doing that on eBay, and that means most weekends are pretty busy here in the store. Makes for a very busy Monday when I have to pack all of that stuff up. Well, it's Monday. All my stuff's already packed up and it did not take very long. Let's take a look at what I sold over the weekend. We sold about two thirds of the items that we normally sell and about a third of those items are the really low dollar filler items that we normally kind of sprinkle in. So it was not a great weekend here at the mountain in terms of sales. But we're going to talk about that after this. The good news is shipping will be quick today. I guess I, you know, looking for some of the silver linings, right? Let's just start over on the left and work our way over as we shove things over. Pampered Chef. This one is right there. A two and a half quart insulated serving bowl. This thing is still new in the package. So it'll be very easy to sh ship, to pack up. You do want to go in, even when things are new, it's a good idea to go in there and make sure that there's not a lot of space in there, that it's bouncing around as far as shipping is concerned. You know, if there's extra room where it can bounce up and down, put a little bubble wrap in there. Just keep it from jostling around. That'll help. I think this one's probably pretty good. We just need to get this thing boxed up and it's good to go. Don't Also, don't just slap a label on this. I, I've heard stories of people getting their packages with just the label slapped on the actual box. Don't do that. At the very least, put it in a poly mailer, right? So Pampered Chef sometimes can be pretty good. I, I generally have to look them up. Some are good, some are not. And I haven't figured out exactly how to tell which is which, but they've got a number on it. This one is 100263. Look that one up and you'll find that you can sell it like I did for 39 bucks plus shipping. That's all right. We sold our final puppet. He's getting squished there. This guy sold actually uh, this morning, but sold in time to sneak into the video. And we've got plenty of room on the counter because, well, just not that much sold today. $14.29 plus shipping. So all four puppets now gone. Let's do this guy because he's falling over. Pretty cool. Sabretooth from the X-Men. And when you uh, squeeze his legs, as would anybody, his mouth opens. So there you go. Pretty cool. An old Toy Biz figure. And he sold for $4.98 plus shipping. Uh, this guy right here, a Shelby Cobra vintage pin. This one, 7 bucks plus shipping. I knocked this off of there. Old Micro Machines. An old uh, paramedic. Army paramedic vehicle, uh, not much there. This is actually part of a big lot, and it was the last one that I had of that particular lot, and it finally sold six ninety nine. Got another small figure here, Superman. I picked this up. Uh, I think these from Farmer Mark, and I knew that's what they were when I picked them up. They're all about five dollars plus shipping a piece. That's just what these figures are. They're actually made by Schleich. Schleich makes all kinds of figures, but I thought it would be a cool thing to list. I, I, I like stuff like this. They're very quick listers, nice filler for the store. And somebody's going to like having these sitting on their shelves. A lot of DC figures. Superman, $4.98 plus shipping. We'll, we'll set you there so you don't fall down. The Dalai Lama. Look at that. An audio tape. Well, I guess it's an audio CD, but the Art of Happiness on CD. I, I, I think I might have paid a quarter for this at some point and it's still new and sealed so i figured you know it's worth a pickup and it did sell and it took a couple months 9.98 plus shipping is what we got for that salt life decent brand if you can find that for hats and shirts and stuff it doesn't sell for a ton but it sells okay and this one also like the dalai lama selling for 9.98 plus shipping we've got a viewer sale going out to michael michael picked up the troll doll. This is the one that uh, I couldn't find a while ago. Another viewer wanted this one and it wandered off. I could not find it. They had sent me an offer and I just could not figure out where in the heck it went. 
I found it the other day, as I knew I would. It just I picked it up and set it somewhere where it shouldn't have been. Uh, the, the other viewer, I sent them just a freebie troll. But I found it, and so I relisted the troll again. And Michael picked it up. Michael up in Canada, actually. So $11.11, Canadian dollars and cents. Said he uh, watches all the videos and appreciates them and uh, keep up the good work. So, Michael, thank you so much. We'll keep up the work. Hopefully it's good. We got Godzilla versus Megalon. I like picking up the old Godzilla VHS tapes. A lot of them aren't worth a whole lot of money, but I enjoy them. It's just that nostalgia piece, and I like Godzilla stuff. It just, it, it's got a cool look to it. Uh, I, I don't know. I like it. $4.97, I believe, plus shipping. Pink Floyd on cassette tape, The Dark Side of the Moon. This is a great one. To pick up if you can find it even on cassette this thing sold for sixteen dollars 24 cents plus shipping we got from radica a texas hold'em handheld this is not a high dollar game at all i bought this in a lot of handheld games so you know we're not all that much into it at all and it sold for 9.98 free shipping one of mary's moo moos we've still got a few of these left this is forgive us our trespasses I think this is the one that sold. And it sold for $15.60 plus shipping. Video game, low dollar game, but I priced it so that it would move and it moved. The Last of Us remastered on the PS4. $9.98 free shipping. Kind of a recurring theme this weekend. Not a lot of sales and a lot of them that we had were very low dollar sales. We got another snapback. Nope, this one is a uh, stretch fit hat. We got the Reds, and it sold for $9.48 plus shipping. Look at that Minnesota Vikings. Really cool vintage helmet mug. Picked this one up at Goodwill a while back. Mugs, I like selling mugs now and again. It's just they take a long time for me to sell them. They sit for a long time. So at some point, I have to stop myself from buying them because my mug shelf is just full. I don't have a lot of room and it fills up relatively quickly. And this one did clear up a spot. So I guess I can buy another mug now. 14 bucks plus shipping. Picked up a bunch of these this weekend, not strictly Golden State. I picked up 17, I think, vintage NBA patches and got them all. I, I picked up the whole pile of them for 10 bucks. And so we're, I don't know what that is, 60 cents, something I, around there into each one. And I knew they, they weren't real high dollar, sort of like the Schleich DC figures. I knew these weren't high dollar, but these were a super fast list. And they're really cool, I think. And so they're all worth a, about five bucks plus shipping. So I listed them at nine ninety eight with offers enabled. And some of them are starting to move. This is the first one to actually go out, $9.48 free shipping. So that's obviously going out at the four ounce rate. It'll be cheap to ship. And uh, I have two $9 offers that were accepted on two other patches by the same buyer. So that's nice. I can combine those and obviously make a little bit more on the free shipping items, but they've not paid yet. So hopefully that payment comes through and we sell a couple more patches. Here, look at that. We got a video game for the PlayStation, Crash Team Racing trying to get it in focus there a low dollar game especially because i don't have anything for it it's just the disc itself this one though is going international four dollars 74 cents plus international shipping up to mexico or i guess i'd be down to mexico unless they take the long way around the great gatsby i never really liked the original the remake with leo I, I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't get into the story. I tried. He does a great job. I like him. Just didn't dig the movie all that much. $4.78 plus shipping. Low dollar, but it's a new movie. So front and back, sell similar. Very easy. We did have one very nice sale this weekend, guys. You're going, why did I even watch this video? There's nothing to look out for. Here we go. Carhartt. This is a 2XL tall it's a vintage it's blanket lined which makes it additionally a good pickup carhartt's always a good pickup vintage carhartt tends to sell pretty well and this one sold this weekend it, it took a few months 140 dollars plus shipping 
I think Mountain Mama got this at a garage sale for me. When I was at another one, I had her swing by one that was just a block away. And she picked this up. It was a great pickup. I, I think she probably paid about five or ten bucks for it. So a fantastic flip. Best flip of the weekend by far. And some ducks moving on out as well. We've got a, a bunch of new ones heading to new homes. We've got the volleyball duck and the red hockey guy duck. we got a blue hockey player in there as well. And these are both going to Ryan. They're heading up to Canada. Ryan, thanks so much for picking those up. We'll get you some of that shipping refunded to you, certainly. We've got a little blue mini duck keychain. That one headed to Tammy. Thank you so much. And then Sandy continuing her duck problem in the store. Sandy, thank you so much. She's going to have quite a line here very soon. We've got the unicorn duck. That guy's awesome. Giraffe. We've got the little, uh, I don't know if it's a fairy god duck or it's a little princess or I don't know, but it's cool. We've got, of course, the chicken duck, little rooster, and the little aqua teal birdie duck. These are all rescue ducks, so very cool. And that means 20% of the purchase here going to the Gary Sinise Foundation. So there it is. That's an entire weekend of sales. Um, like I said, not... Not great. You know, when we look at numbers, we don't dive deep into numbers on this channel super often. Uh, certainly not, you know, sales numbers and that sort of thing. But just to give you an idea of, of what I'm looking at here, on Friday, we sold right about $500 gross on eBay, which is, which is pretty good, right? I'm happy with that. Saturday, the day ended at right about 60, 60 bucks. And there were, you saw some free shippers in there. Uh, Sunday, I think we hit 71 with a couple of overnight sales. 71. Gross. Again, some free shippers, remember, this weekend. It it wasn't good, guys. This was the worst weekend that I've had. I, I don't know how long. Certainly this month, but it, it, as far as I can remember. I mean, going down to $60 in a day, that's the worst day I've had in a very, very long time. 71 is right behind it. So, you know, back-to-back -back really poor days. But it's time for me to walk what I talk, right? It's time to, you know, I listen to my own sermon. I'm always preaching. You, you can't look at eBay in single snapshot days. You can't even look at it necessarily in a week, a month, really, you know. You, you've got to look at it because eBay goes up and down some days where it's just, it doesn't happen. And for me, I just got two of those in a row. So I'm, I'm not freaking out. I can see why people would right? If they're not sort of realizing, okay, it's going to balance out, right? It, it's going to be okay. Look at the average over the long term. I'll be fine, right? I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm going to take advantage of the time. We're going to get a video out today. I'm going to get more listing today. And I, I, I'm happy because I know that things are going to bounce back, okay? So I, I would suggest that's what you do. You know, if, if that continues to happen, that's the time you look at what am I doing wrong? Because that's always that first question, right? Of, you know, this was an awful weekend. What did I do wrong? Maybe nothing. Probably nothing, right? It just, that, it happens sometimes. So just wanted to throw that out there. A couple other things. Uh, incidentally, that great Gatsby DVD, that purchased by none other than Steve Rakin. That's right. The dot-com guy. Yeah, Steve uh, came in and picked that up. I imagine he's going to flip that on Amazon and make some good money. You can, of course, sell things on Amazon most often for more than you can sell on eBay. So, uh, Steve, thanks for coming in the store. I've got more DVDs over here in my DVD bin, if, if you're interested. I've got more. Though I, I, I do have to say, I'm a little disappointed I didn't get an accompanying message. You know, Dave, if you saw the video, NC Flipper Picker, he got this nice message along with his purchase about how to ship that thing off and uh, the, the the condition it had to be in, that sort of thing. I, I, did, I, I feel like I missed out on some of the experience by not getting that message, Steve. It's like the scratch and sniff sticker with no sniff. It's just I, I did not get the full dot-com experience, and I'm a little let down by that. But uh, I'm just like my sale. I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to look at the long term and, and we'll be okay somehow. Once again, the, uh, the reseller here in town that shares the same name, Troy, 
He's got a uh, charity auction going for uh, breast cancer research, and I'm going to put the link down in the description. Really cool sort of package of different things that he's got in there. And if you missed it before, I was going through my death pile one day here recently, and I found that I've got an Aflac duck that is the breast cancer Aflac duck. And he does talk. He talks. The speaker is in his butt, guys. So this duck speaks out of his butt. I don't... I don't know why they did it that way, but that's how it is. So you can help get your ducks in a row with the talking out of his buck, Aflac duck. If a viewer wins that auction, let me know, and I will send this to you, no charge. I'll just ship this off as a thank you. So go ahead and visit that again. The link is down below. Check that out if you're interested. Also down below the link to our charity calendar. Uh, that All of the money for that is going to support the Gary Sinise Foundation, which we also use our ducks for that we sell out of the store. You got to get your ducks in a row if you're going to sell on eBay. Mountain Man Treasure Ducks, you know, you just sit them right alongside the Enemen, like we got back there, and your store is going to run a whole lot better. So you can get those in the store, and 10 to 20 percent of those going to the Gary Sinise Foundation. The charity calendar, all profits going to that foundation. It's really cool. There's a lot of resellers on there. I'm Mr. June. So, you know, if, if you want to get it just for me, I, I don't blame you, but there are 11 other guys that are really cool. Actually, there's, we got one that's a double. So we've actually got 12 other guys, 12, 12. I can, I need more caffeine. We've got a dozen other guys in the calendar. So if you want the studs of the reselling community calendar, that link is down below as well. $20 for that, or you can also go in and donate and buy a day. You can, for $5, buy a day on the calendar, which I think is a really cool thing. So I appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you so much for doing that and for supporting the channel. It's growing a lot, and I, I, I can't thank you enough for helping make that happen. If you don't mind, you can continue to help make that happen by commenting down below, hitting the thumb. That helps out a ton. And subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that as well. It's free, and it brings wonderful joy into your life or, well, brings me into your life anyway.